In this video, I want to discuss 10 mistakes artists make all the time. It's your boy C Note from HeinousBeats.com and I wanted to make this video because I've gotten a lot of questions and, you know, just artists that are seeking help and advice, you know, to further their music career. And I really want to take this time to really break down a lot of mistakes that I see artists making and until you actually fix those mistakes it's gonna really be hard for you to advance so i wanted to point out these mistakes first and then once you're able to address these mistakes you'll be able to take your um your music even further and it'll actually be on the right track because it's all about just planting seeds and taking the the proper steps to your goal so i'm gonna break down these steps for you guys this one's gonna be a little lengthy but um, I suggest you break out a notepad and a pen and take down some notes, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of game packed into this video here. So let's, let's get started. The first thing, the first mistake that I see is artists put their eggs in one basket. What I mean is, you know, I see a lot of artists where they only advertise or they only market or promote their music on Twitter or they only market their promote their music on Facebook. Um, that's a big mistake. You want to try to take advantage of all the things, all the tools that you have. You want to take advantage of every last one because you never know um, where opportunity is going to come from. OK, so that's what I want to point out there. Mistake number two. The mistake number two is no site or central headquarters. This is a huge mistake. I see artists, you know, you, you send in fans to a SoundCloud page or a Facebook page, and that's not a good look. You want to try to have a website any way you can do it. You know, they're not expensive these days. Look into it. It's very simple to get a, a simple website set up. You only need one page really to start out if that's all you can really um, afford or that's all you can um, work with. And what you would do is just put all your SoundCloud, your mixtape, your albums, your YouTube videos. You would put this all on your site, you know, along with like a bio, an EPK kit. Um, and what you would do is you would send your fans directly to that site and then they can see everything that you're involved in and really you can get a hold of them and get a really a loyal fan off of that because they're able to see your, dy your dynamic artist you know you have a lot of dimensions your complex you know and you also get to brand yourself you know exactly the way you want to and you have control over how you look to your um, fans you know when they go to your site okay let's move on Mistake number three is spamming strangers your music link. Okay, that's a bad, bad thing to do because all that does is just really annoy the person. And that's not really how you build up a reputable relationship with a person. These are real people on the other side of that computer. And you really want to treat them that way, you know, so... I would try to build up a conversation, some rapport with the person, ask them something about their self, you know, before you just um, blindly send a music link. Another thing is really um, off of the third mistake, but placing music links as comments. I don't know why people are doing this or who told you guys to do this, but it looks very bad and it's horrible on your um, your music, your image, you know, you you. you the internet is all about perception so if you look like you're a spam artist or you're just a person that just goes around just posting links and don't really care about who is seeing it or who you're um, marketing to who your audience is people notice that is it's, it's really open and people don't like that so you want to try to keep everything that you do relevant and try to help people if anything you have a helpful article a helpful video to help you out share that with the person try to keep it relevant and helpful okay mistake number five i don't know how many artists i ask for their music or you know i'm looking for to work with them and they don't have any mixtapes or albums they're not working on any they just they just make a bunch of singles that's okay but you're going to have to show that you can put together a whole cohesive project, you know, a whole body of work. 
You want to make sure that you can show people that you can present, you know, a full package. You're a full package. So, you know, it's like a movie trailer. It's like they give you pieces and that's what singles are. They're like previews and trailers to um, movies. Now, the uh, the album or the mixtape is going to be the main event, the actual movie. It, okay, so that's how you should think of it. So when you don't make a mixtape or album, you're just giving people really just you know, little pieces and previews of the artist that you truly are. Number six, no actual game plan. All right, this is a huge, big mistake. I see a lot of artists that just, you know, mindlessly just posting links all over social media. That That is really not effective and it's a big waste of time. You have to sit down and write out your goals, what you're trying to accomplish, actionable goals like, OK, I want to release a mixtape in the next two, three months. So you take the proper steps that you need to take to complete that goal. And by the end of that three months, you should have that mixtape done. OK, and that's how you set up a, a game plan. And just that way, you're actually doing things that could help your career and not just waking up and going about your day and just posting um, a new single that you have and it's really not having no effect and you're wondering why it's because you know it's best to put um, an idea and 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 take the steps to um, accomplish that idea you know just really think about what you're trying to accomplish and just from work your way backwards figure out the steps that you need to take to get there and, you know, you can always message me and, and, and I will be happy to help you guys out. OK, that's why I'm making this. I'm trying to just let, give you guys a lot of game and a lot of things my mentors told me. OK, and a lot of things that I've experienced and learned um, along the way. Mistake number seven is describing your sound or your music in a boring way. OK, I see a lot of artists saying check out the hottest this and um can you please uh, give a listen to? And I mean, all that is really just seems like it's begging and is unattractive to a fan and a listener. So what you want to do is entice people with a story. Um, describe your music in an interesting way. You know, use a lot of um, adjectives and, you know, make people visualize what the music is going to sound like or feel like. OK, use a lot of feeling and visualize visualization when you're describing your sound and your music don't just say it's hot okay that that's just boring and everybody says that you got to be interesting and stand out in this industry mistake number eight this is a big one i don't see i see a lot of artists doing no collabs with other artists and producers okay i know a lot of you guys have your own camp and people you like to work with but you don't want to Put yourself in a box and restrict your creative art you know you want to be able to expand so working with somebody you never worked with might bring something a different element to you and bring something different out of your music you know and, and people might love it or they might hate it but you have to be willing to do that you know and it's all about the relationships you build and who you know it's not what you know i know you guys heard that before so and that's a really true statement especially um, in this music industry number eight is music is isn't broadcast quality now i see a lot of you guys are very talented and but it's not um well recorded or mixed well and i know it can be very expensive and you know it's not in a lot of artists budget but you have to try to find a way to present your music the best way possible you know, I see a lot of artists uh, actually, you know, put playing a beat, you know, on a boom box and freestyling on a video. I mean, that is not quality sound and that can showcase yeah, your lyrics, but people want something pleasant to listen to, you know, and that's that's what it boils down to. So you want to make sure that it sounds proper and it's, it's ready to get it could get played on a radio or, you know, it could get played through iTunes or anything like that. You want to make sure it's properly packaged right and it sound right. So you want to make sure if you can't afford it, look into trying to learn how to mix your own music. You know, it, it takes time and, and it takes experience, but it definitely is worth it in the end. You know, there's always ways you can work around things, but you don't want to take the, the easy and the cheap way out. OK, you want to put your all in it 
into it and you know go hard use your heart you know so um the last but not least mistake number 10 is no or little fan engagement so no email list i see a lot of artists they just don't have an email list and that is the way you can stay in contact and build relationships with people that download your music so instead of just having your mixtape for free download try to set up or don't try set up um, a sign up page and have fans sign up to download the mixtape you know show them a little preview or sample you know a video or something or a sound cloud clip and and tell them they can download the full mixtape or album when they fill in their email address and give you their email address and then that way you can send out promotional things you know when you're having events shows and things like that you could keep the people updated and over you know the course of time you will actually build a, a loyal fan you'll have a relationship uh, with these people that are on your list okay so those are the 10 things i want to run through now you know everybody that watched my video know i always have little extra things i want to um give in the video and this is for all the people that sat through this and i want to give you guys some extra things that could help you out here are some extra tips right here for you guys. Now, one thing I don't see a lot of artists doing, but they need to, is use YouTube more. You know, and I don't mean just putting up videos. Actually go on YouTube and watch other artists' videos, comment, and try to, you know, build up relationships with other people on, on YouTube. You know, along with uploading videos on a consistent, frequent basis. So the next thing, a tip here is find an affordable graphic designer or learn yourself. Okay, so that's a plus. I mean, you want high resolution images. You want your it's your image and your your view, your fans have of you to be aesthetically pleasing. You know, you want people to you know be like wow when they see your stuff. You know, let me see what he got next. You know, you have you have to be you know appealing to the eye. So the next tip is do interviews. You know, even if it's your homeboy interviewing you on video, that's cool too. But show a human side to yourself and do interviews. People like to see people outside of the music. Okay, so another tip is stay updated on pages you manage, which means make sure that all your music is updated. You have your latest stuff on there and you know, it's hard. It really is, especially when you're on like 10 of these sites. It could be, you know, a really big task to get all your stuff updated, but try to keep your things updated. You, you really want to make sure that your image is um, consistent across the whole Internet. You know what I mean? Everything looks um, uniformed and nice. So another tip is perform more frequently so if you don't perform you need to perform and if you do do it more you want to be doing it on a regular basis so people can see your face out there and you get locally known okay another tip is do something no one is doing now this is really general but i mean it's up to your imagination but try to put yourself out there in a different way because people become really numb to the same old thing so try to just have yourself sticking out by doing something different that nobody's doing. Another tip is create songs that appeal to women. I, I see too many artists where they just make street bangers. You know, the whole mixtape is just all street joints and, you know, shooting and selling drugs. That's cool and everything. But you got to make songs that appeal to the ladies because those are the ones that come out to the clubs, you know, go to the shows and things like that. So make sure you have a couple songs that appeal to women. Now, another little tip that's not even on here is you can also um, host parties in your area, you know, at clubs, halls, or even house parties. You know what I mean? Any little way where you can get your name out and you don't even always have to perform at these parties. You know, you might play one or two songs and then perform. You know, you, it's up to you. It's up, it's up to how you feel the crowd. But the main point is you want people to have a good time, okay, to, to associate your name and your music to a good time okay then they'll, they'll be more likely to you know buy your stuff maybe so you know if you guys want more things just you know connect with me these are all my links right here okay i'm gonna leave this up for you guys 
and just hit me up connect with me uh, i love to speak to artists producers too you know and um check out what we got at heinousbeats.com we got a lot of new things that we're working on a lot of things that's been newly released so i want you guys to go check that out I thank you for watching this and I salute everybody that sat through this. This is kind of lengthy, but I hope you guys took notes and gained some valuable um, information from this uh, video right here. Okay, this is your boy C-Note from HeinousBeats.com. Salute.